Kaira Tamate Tai. This video will show you how to write the Greek alphabet, so if you're having trouble forming the letters, this is the place for you. These are the conventional forms of the letters that you're going to learn how to write, and they're the ones that you'll also see printed, so both uppercase uh, and lowercase. You'll notice that conventionally your book uses the lowercase ones uh, with a few exceptions, uh, the beginnings of direct quotations and the beginnings of proper nouns and place names and, and so forth. Um, but you'll get very used to reading the lowercase letters and you may find yourself forgetting the uppercase ones, uh, but you should be sure to learn those too because it was these capital letters that were used um, primarily for inscriptions. And so when you go to museums and see uh, beautiful inscriptions cut into stone, uh, you'll be irritated with yourself if you have forgotten the forms of the uppercase letters and all your friends and family will expect you to be able to read them. Uppercase or capitals were also used in very early writing on papyrus. Uh, this is called unseal form, and um, at the same time that this unseal script was used in formal writing, there was <clears throat> a, a less formal hand, a sort of akin to our cursive, that was developing. And starting in the 9th or 10th century, that cursive hand developed into what we call minuscule, and most um, of the manuscript tradition that we have uh, uses this minuscule script, which is... Um, slightly more difficult to read, but allows you to write more on the page. So you can see this uh, beautiful medieval manuscript of Euripides' Hecuba has the text uh, in the upper left, and then around it is, um, and between the lines, uh, marginalia um, commentary on the text. Um, by the time of the Renaissance, um, the script that we are now used to developed for the printing press. And so um, printers in the Renaissance started using both a combination of both the uppercase and the lowercase letters that we are now used to. Um, and those are the ones, uh, as I said, that you're going to be reading and also writing. You can see how that medieval manuscript then um, made its way into the, the normal printed text that we see today. So again, this is the beginning of Euripides' Hecuba. Um, notice that the uppercase letters are used really only for the beginnings of direct quotations uh, and the beginnings of um, proper nouns, right? The beginnings of sentences where's a complete sentence, heos here is a complete sentence, see there's a period there. Beginnings of sentences are not conventionally capitalized, uh, only when they begin a, a direct quotation. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go through and show you um, how, to, how to write these letters. I'm not actually going to do the capitals because they're very much the same as our own capitals, or else they're very simple because they really had to be in order to carve them into rock. Um, but I will take you through how to do the, um, the lowercase letters. So we begin with alpha, and that's just a nice little fish like this. Um, beta, you want to do in one stroke, beginning under the line, like that. Uh, and then gamma, again, is just like the alpha, only sideways, um, dipping down the tail of it below the line. Delta, again, you want to make in one stroke, like that, starting in the middle and um, going all the way around. Epsilon is just a little e, very simple. Zdata is a tricky one. This is probably the second trickiest letter to make. Um, so you, you give it a little t um, horn at the top and then a curve and then a tail below the line. Eta is just kind of like an N, but it has a continuing tail below the line. Uh, theta, just a circle with a line through it. Uh, and Iota is just like our eye. Um, it is curvy. It doesn't have a dot. Kappa 
again easy, it's like our K, only all uh, below the line. Lambda, two lines. Uh, and mu uh, has a tail. You can probably do it in one stroke if you want. Like that. Nu is just like our V, so that's easy. Xi uh, is, again, probably the second trickiest letter uh, because it's got tails above and below and a little curlicue in the middle. Uh, and Omicron, to make up for Xi, is very easy. Uh, P, uh, you can make the top of that curly if you want to, or straight. Rho. Uh, is made with just one stroke starting below the line. And then again, there are two forms of sigma, one of them for the middle of words, which is all one stroke, and one of them for the end of words, which looks like an S, except that the bottom of it is below the line. Tau uh, is just like RT, only it's all under the middle. Upsilon is just like our U, uh, and phi uh, is easy. You can also do phi not only as a circle with a line through it, but again, all one stroke like that uh, if you're um, needing to write Greek really quickly. And our last three are chi, which is pretty easy, like an X, only part of it goes below the line. Psi also goes below the line and omega, which is just basically a W. Great, so you should practice those and get used to writing them uh, and typing them as well.